Elbrick. He's Apollo Ocelus, destined for greatness and grandeur, and to hide ugly realities behind a layer of charm and elegance. He believes he has made a clean break with his past. I just asked if you were cold. I didn't ask for your whole life story. You want me to express myself? Leave me alone! Don't touch me! You couldn't get enough attention when you were a kid, so you're trying to make up for it now. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I envy you travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. I might be a woman, but I can crack rock with the best of them. I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. On the off chance someone really dies, would that make me a murderer? Oh well, I didn't expect it to anyway. Guess you'll have to solve that little mystery. But hey, you're smart. I know you can do it. Oh, there is one more thing. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. And it starts with the sun. Now, once upon a time, a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. And from this small drop of sun grew a magic golden flower. It had the ability to heal the sick and injured. Oh, you see that old woman over there? You might want to remember her. She's kind of important. Well, centuries passed, and a hop skip and a boat ride away, there grew a kingdom. ...of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. No matter when, or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know. Perhaps we could spend some time together. Chin was expanding his army to all corners of the continent. When they came to the neck of the peninsula where we lived, he demanded our immediate surrender. I warned him that I would not sit passively while he took our home.